Hey guys, so I messed up bad. I'm on my way home now. It's been a long day at work. And um, I've been thinking about making this video because, well, I messed up. We picked up two rams, lamb meat, and one pig. That's between 250 and 300 pounds worth of meat. And um, I've had it in an upright freezer. So I went ahead and put a box in there and I have readjusted some of the meat. Now it's separated from everything else that we have because it is USDA and it's certified. And if you're gonna be selling it, the regulations are that you need to keep it separated from any of your other meats. And we've done that. But the problem was that I didn't close that freezer properly. So this morning when I was gonna get some stuff out to make a delivery um, back in town where I work at, the freezer didn't close right. So I'm sitting here waiting for my wife. She's making, she sold some of that meat already y'all. Everything was, everything was thawed. Um, it was still cold, but Potentially, that's about a thousand dollars worth of of me. My wife's like, you know what? If it would have happened to me or our son, you would have been really irritated. Accidents happen, but what I'm really irritated about is that all the hard work that she put in, we put in, but mostly her because she's the one that takes care of these animals, and, um, and I dropped the ball out. So she put everything on sale. She was very transparent and told them, told everybody what it was, you know. And she's able to sell some of that meat. And um, you live and you learn, right? Um, but that was uh, that's a heartbreaker. Like I said, it's the hard work that we put in there. Um, but somebody's here picking some of that up and you know, we'll do it again. Um, I'm gonna figure out a way to make sure that I put a latch on that upright freezer. And I, I'm really, really, really kicking myself for this, guys. But um, my wife's been very supportive, you know, the whole situation. And, um, you know, things happen. On the positive side, I do get to enjoy these now because we're not selling everything now. Um, there's just no way we're going to be able to sell everything and, you know, freezers going back up again. Look at these chops, y'all. <laughs> cooney, cooney, yo. This is a uh, uh, hard work. Hard work. Uh, I think the next time that we do these, well, first of all, I'm not going to mess up that freezer. You know, I'm double, triple check that freezer, make sure I put a good latch on it. But um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to go a little bit thinner because they are pretty thick. Um, th these are perfect for grilling, though, you know, but when they get done in a pan, because of how thick they are, I think that we're just gonna go a little bit thinner. Just one of them days, you know, just a little rough. But food's gonna make me feel better. I haven't eaten all day long. Um, had a couple of meetings back in Dallas. Customers, new customers, so we had to take care of those guys. But um, I just made it home. Long day. You know, early dinner, I guess. But um, yeah, guys, um, stuff happens. And, and like I said, it's, it's a, it was a mistake, and uh, it'll it'll get fixed. It'll get fixed. Um, so I have to wait another <laughs> about another year, you know, so we could do this all over again. But um, yeah. Right. Okay. Hey, uh, thank you guys for for watching our videos, and and you know, leave comments. You know, engage with us. We'll respond. Um, like I said before. Um, this lifestyle isn't for everybody. There's a lot of people out here. We've created a community. 
uh, amongst ourselves with homesteaders and um, you know that whole barter uh, versus uh, buy works out great guys um, uh, about 10 minutes ago my buddy called me and said hey man you know your truck is almost ready but I've got some stuff and I need to go over with you and I'm like perfect you know so I get what we needed done and he gets to start this homesteading matter of fact funny story is that him and I went to high school together we used to play football together he was a great uh, ahead of me and uh, we know each other through a close friend of ours uh, he's a family friend actually and um, you know that's how we reconnected again so he's literally right down the street and um, that's that's one thing about about this uh, homesteading community that we have things here available that other people don't do and then other people do things that we don't do and then we just trade for it you know what I mean and and barter you know we get a lot of things done that way um, so it works out you know we're not out money and we grow things uh, our case animals you know where we're good at animals one day I hope that we get a garden going but until then yeah, I'm okay being a carnivore. <laughs> well, guys, thank y'all. Again, I appreciate you guys watching these videos.